Hi, みなさま、こんにちは。United Jazz in からのキリコです。So, this is my first time talking in this channel, and I'm getting embarrassed already. <laughs> so, what I'll be doing on this video is all about the hashtag JNA Voice Challenge, where all of us JNA fans or Johnny's fans will answer the following questions given by our fellow Johnny's fan from the Philippines. But we need to use our voice to answer these questions and follow the instructions given from this challenge. And I'll give the link on the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started! Challenge you a i m a s So the first question is What names do you go by? So, first of all, I had too many nicknames by history. Since birth, I remember everyone calling me Ina. Then, when I was in grade one, I declared my new nickname as Angel, but I realized it went to be too girly as I really don't have any interest about that stuff. Until when I was in grade three, one of my classmates called me Anje, and so that made my confidence in calling my name actually more interesting than calling my full name up until now. And so, calling me Anje, Ange, or anything else related to this nickname is fine. And of course, my fangirl name is Kiriko. <laughs> Not only because I named it after the girl version of Akito kun, but surprisingly, one of my favorite artists, such as Kari Pamyu Pamyu, has her real name, Takimura Kiriko san, as well. So, the next question is Where are you from? Hi, I'm from the Philippines, when there is always two seasons. <laughs> And as Akito kun said, Who are your favorite JNA groups andor personalities? Janis <laughs> West to Gamochino and Chibaski na group yana! Next is Heisei Jump, not only because there's Takaki Yue Kun in there, but the songs actually was cute as well. Their songs were actually my starter pack, it's j a n i s songs way back 2011 or 2012, I guess. Then, in no particular order, were Kanjani Eto. Arashi and News. For how long have you been a fan of JNE group and or personality? If you're telling me how long I became a fan of Westo, it's actually more than years since Westo debuted. <laughs> I actually met Akito kun when I watched Kokusen 3 on our local TV last 2009. Then, after the series ends, I began searching on him just because I was very curious about the dubbing on him, which it looks like a tomboy. <laughs> so, yeah. I've done lots of searching and until this photo. Oops. <laughs> this photo made my confirmation to be approved. Like, okay, I'm in shock already. <laughs> and also because of him, I learned that Nakama Jun Takung, also as Ichimura Rikia on Gok Sentry, was his partner that time and it was called BAD Bado or Beautiful American Dream if you didn't know that yet. And that these discoveries already made me pull inside Johnny's black hole. And that's where the freaking Aho Life has started. <laughs> Other artists, baby Jump is the second oldest, and the rest were just few years ago. So, on the next question, it will definitely take too long to answer those. So, you can skip it if you're already enough on my recommendations. <laughs> so, here's the next question Recommend one song of a JNA group or soloist, but unfortunately, I don't have only one. There are lots. So, of course, a j a n a i k a as a starter pack. But if you want something more intense than the first one, maybe I can just give you some recommendations by theme or something. <laughs> so, if your ears like cool songs, then this is for you. These songs, such as YSSB, Party Maniacs, Cho Ecstasy, She Is My, Double to Double. <laughs> just basically, those cool songs with entirely capital letters on their titles are much recommended. <laughs> But I'm so sorry, guys. My favorite is actually Aho songs. <laughs> so I recommend you some Aho songs from Westo, such as Westo Aino Session, Konamon, Zundoko Paradise, Osaka Ben Running, Naniwa Kanba Musuko, Nametara Akkan, and etc. <laughs> and if you want to memorize on something but you feel bored while on class, why don't you try learning those by their songs, such as the Pai song, which is basically look like this. That's just on the title, but when you hear the intro, you may already heard this one with more digits than the title itself. Yep, pretty hard, huh? You just learn Japanese numbers and try to memorize the lyrics while you write the numbers on your paper. That's it! <laughs> of course, Osaka Ben Learning, if you want to learn some Kansai Ben words, but 
beware of approaching Ahos. <laughs> and Bokkola no Kiseki was all about memorizing all 47 prefectures and their capitals. But I can also recommend you listening to AKB48 Team 8's Gyonju Nana no Steki na Machie if you want it slowly and easier. But it can only limit you to just prefectures and it's just fine. But on West song, just beware of them being in total chaos. <laughs> and I just liked it. And if you're interested in happy songs, then I'll just recommend these songs such as Bokura Kyo Mo Ikiteiru, Bari Happy, <laughs> Make a Wish for Your Birthday, <laughs> Make a Wish Sekai Ju Ga Ishiteru, Principal no Kimie, which was a theme song for Kotaki Nozomu's movie Principal, Colorful Magic, which was their very first Christmas song. Homechigiristo that can definitely give you energy and happiness after work and listening to this song Western Parade as from a personal recommendation and Jinsei wa Subarashi or Jinsuba And if you want party songs then here's one Unlimited Gotsue Friday I got the flow which is actually Fujirisei and Kamiyama Tomohiro's unit song and some songs that I've already mentioned on the cool songs such as Parimani NYSSP and for the ballads and something that will make you feel motivated or inspired, I will mostly recommend some songs written by Shigeo Kadaiki-kun, such as To You, from the latest album Double Trouble, Machigacha Inai and Norikoshi Love Story, and some other songs such as Namankai Date Kimi Ga Suki, Ozora Negate Mata Ashita, and Solo Sakie. And last but not the least, if you already had enough of West but you literally want it too much, that may definitely kill your ears. Here are the songs that I can definitely recommend you but beware of those, it will give you too much. So to be honest, Juntaku was very very smart when it comes to writing the lyrics of some songs because you know, he already killed me over the years. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. I think I'm done on the song recommendations, so let's move on to number 6. Recommend one series that has someone from J and A. Hi, of course, Papa Johnny Westo! Among all of those pangumi in our series, such as Honoten, which I'll talk about it later. <laughs> this show has made the audiences feel happy every time there were various children participating in their Papa Johnny house. And hey, let's not forget that they also exist to be such an ahotados! <laughs> And you'll definitely see it on every episode, so please watch it on Paravi. But unfortunately, it already ended last Friday because of the announcement to be a TV show on TBS. But good thing previous episodes are still available on Paravi. Of course, if you're living in Japan, you also have a Paravi account, not available internationally. <laughs> and yep, Hono no Tenkosei Ribon! Or Blazing Just for Students, as being called internationally, is actually a live action adaptation of the anime Hono no Tenkosei by Shimamoto san. And it's definitely the very first series being starred by all seven members, having the very first original series on Netflix, consisting on eight episodes by members, of course, and without spoiling it if you haven't watched it yet. This will definitely make you laugh as freak, honestly. <laughs> All of them were named Kakeru, but good thing they used their own surnames to be called differently. Well, just watch it at your own risk. <laughs> so, and the seventh question is recommend one movie that has someone from J and A. Hi, I have no idea what movie should I recommend but I may only recommend a movie from the time when they were juniors and that was called Kansai Janice Jr. no Kyoto Uzumasa Koshinkyoku starring Shigeo Kadaki from Seven Westo and Kiriyama Kito from Bato at that time about one year before their debut as West um, they were actually had separate units when they were juniors, but I'll not talk too much about this. And also one movie with Westo such as Principal, starring Kotaki Nozomu and Kuroshima Yuina-san. Sing one verse from the washer and song! <laughs> okay, this is totally embarrassing, so let's start! <laughs> Okay, I'm already enough. I'm done with this. I've already had too much with this. <laughs> so hopefully this will be my last video with lots of talking. And I'm hoping everyone to please forget everything what I've said. I'll just return to my Kirirasto videos and I'll update again. Maybe next year I guess? <laughs> just kidding, but we'll definitely update this channel next time. Sexy bye bye! Uh, I'm off! Yokoda!